Hello learners, welcome to this course on Embedded System Design using AT89C51 Microcontroller. In this tutorial, I will be discussing about on how to design an electronic dice. A dice is a small object which can be thrown and it can give a value between 1 to 6 on a random basis. So we try to design this die in an electronic format. So in an electronic format, we would like to have the die with 6 LEDs. So whenever I press a switch, a random number will be generated between 1 to 6 and that will be indicated in the LED output. So thereby a random number will be shown on an electronic die and the number will be between 1 to 6. So for this tutorial, I will be using this micro C Pro for 8051 as an integrated development environment where I we will be doing the embedded C program and Proteus Inc. Professional as a simulating software. So we will take 889C51 microcontroller interface it with an LED array. So we are going to use 6 LEDs. So the 6 LEDs are connected to port 2.0 to port 2.5 and I am going to connect a switch push button switch to port 1.7. So whenever we press the switch, a random number between 1 to 6 will be generated and depending upon that random number, the number of LEDs will glow. So which resembles a die in a real time scenario. So here I show a typical circuit diagram. So where we have taken 89C51 microcontroller and to XTIL 1 and 2 pin I have connected the oscillator with 10 MHz frequency and we have connected the capacitors to this oscillator to produce a stable frequency and there is a reset circuit connected to your reset switch so by default this reset pin will be at logic low whenever I close the switch the reset pin will go to logic high thereby reset operation will take place and we are going to connect a switch push button switch to port 1.7 so by default this port has an internal pull up resistor so thereby this port pin will be at logic high whenever I press the switch the port pin 1.7 will go to 0 and I have connected 6 LEDs to port 2.0 to port 2.5 where the cathodes are connected to the microcontroller whereas the anode of the LED are connected to the power supply. In order to do the programming, we will be using Micro C Pro for 8051. So where we write the embedded C program. So a C program starts with the main function and I try to declare an unsigned character variable called dice value and it is initialized to 0. As a first step, we need to say that port, this port 1.7 needs to be configured as an input pin. So for that we put port 1 dot F7 which represents in port 1 7th pin I am going to put it as 1 which means port 1.7 is configured as input pin. So if I set it to 1 it will be configured as input. If we set it to 0 it will be configured as output. Same way for port 2 by default it will be acting as output pin. So in order to initialize it port 2 equal to 0x00. So thereby the port 2 will be configured as output port. Then in a while loop I try to check whether the switch is pressed with the help of a if condition. So if port 1. F7 is equal to equal to 0 which means if the switch is pressed this port 1.F7 will become 0. So in that case what we do we generate a random number using this rand function. So rand function will generate a number between 0 to 32767. And this random number is divided by 7 and we take the remainder value. We use a mod operator here. So thereby we get the remainder value. So the remainder value can be between 0 to 6 since we are dividing it by 7. So we don't want the remainder of 0. So in order to eliminate it, I am checking whether my dice value is 0. If the remainder is 0, again I try to generate the random number between 0 to 32767 then again divide it by 7 and take the remainder value. So if I get a value between 1 to 6 as a remainder then 
I check it the value and in the switch case I try to see if it is 1 then we are going to light up 1 LED by giving a value of Fe to port 2. So Fe in the sense 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 0. So the LED connected to port 2.0 will light up. Okay, 0 given to a port pin will make the LED to glow because the cathodes are connected to your port lines whereas anodes are connected to your supply. So if I give a value of Fe, the LED connected to port 2.0 will light up. If it is a case 2, if my reminder generated is 2, in that case I am going to light up 2 LEDs connected to port 2.0 and port 2.1. If it is 3, then I am going to light up 3 LEDs, 2.0, 2.1, 2.2. If it is 4, it will be 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. 4 LEDs will light up. If it is 5, then 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4. 5 LEDs will light up. In case of 6, we are going to light up 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5. So we are going to light up 6 LEDs. So depending upon the remainder value, we are going to light up the number of LEDs. If my reminder value is 2, we are going to light up 2 LEDs. If the reminder value is 5, we are going to light up 5 LEDs. So my reminder will have a value between 1 to 6. If again, once again, in the second time also, if it generates a reminder of 0, then we are going to switch off all the LEDs. Since this loop is in a while loop, it will continuously check the status of the switch depending upon the status of the switch a random number will be generated and this value the remainder value will go to your corresponding leds to light up now let us see the circuit diagram using protease professional so here we use 89c51 microcontroller here is a oscillator circuit here is a reset circuit and there is a push button connected to your port 1.7 and we have connected 6 LEDs to port 2.0 to 2.5. So the cathodes are connected to your port lines, anodes are connected to your sub. The same program which I explained, I have coded in your micro C Pro for 8051. So first initially I have declared port 1 points F7 as 1. Then port 2 is configured as an output port. Then I am checking the status of the switch. If it is pressed, we generate a random number. And that random number is divided by 7. And the mod value is taken. So then depending upon the mod value, we are going to light up the LEDs accordingly. So this is a program. So after writing a program, we need to build the program. So in order to build, we have an option here, build. So when we build it, the program gets compiled and its corresponding hexadecimal file will be generated. Once an hexadecimal file is generated, we can go to the circuit, import that hexadecimal file into the microcontroller. So right click on the microcontroller, edit properties, select the hexadecimal file. So the hexadecimal file is LED underscore electronic dice. Import it put the oscillator frequency accordingly press ok so now we have imported the x file into our microcontroller now we need to check whether it is working properly or not so in order to do that i press this play button so thereby the coding is running so when i press a switch you can see a random number is generated So that is how a electronic dice can be designed using your AT89C51 microcontroller. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more technical learning. Thank you.